What's going on guys? This is Pokemon Mystery Mail Day number 58. Uh, let's get into it. We made some kind of bullshit videos uh, just recently. So we're gonna get back to it with our kind of scheduled uh, normal Mystery Mail Day videos. Uh, and on top of that, uh, in this next video, we just did our first TikTok today. So I'm kind of excited. My wife kind of forced that, but I'm glad she did because it's a really good social outlet and it was a lot of fun making it. Um, but with that being said, we are going to be opening our first Lost Origin pack and our first opening on TikTok. We're going to be doing that tonight. Um, and then on top of that, guys, hey, get out of there, get out of there. Your kitty's jumping in all the boxes in, the, in this room. Um, and, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this. Oh, and guys, if you haven't, uh, everyone has a different way of, you know, storing, collecting their cards, but right now Amazon has a really good deal on ultra pro, uh, top loaders. I don't know what a top loader is. You should, if you're watching this video, top loaders are rigid card holders that are clear. Uh, they're a pretty good alternative to like screw down slabs and magnetic slabs. I prefer magnetic slabs, but honestly, at the rate my collection's going, um, I just realized that it wasn't realistic to be buying those and that I was going to have to buy a bunch of top loaders. Uh, they still look really good, brand new. Um, and these ones off of Amazon right now actually come with, I think, 200 clear sleeves, which is kind of a nice little extra deal. Uh, you only need one of these if you want to start a business, start selling cards, sleeving them. Gee, just, even if you're opening sets that aren't worth much now, one day they will be worth some good money. And you want to be able to sleeve those, protect them, and move on forward. Uh, also, in terms of sleeves, I bought these Wintra. Uh, they're called Wintra. I'm going to put that a little closer to you guys. Uh, they're called Wintra. Uh, they're really, really good sleeves. They were super cheap off Amazon as well. So I am stacked and ready to go as far as sleeving anything down the road, whether it's collections that I'm buying, um, cards that I'm sorting through. You know, sometimes you realize that you got old, dusty sleeves and top loaders and you just want some fresh ones. Anyways, guys, we're two minutes in. Sorry about that. Uh, let's get into it. So first things first... Let's go ahead and open this guy right here. We've got our trusty husky right here. Uh, I'm not sure what the best way. All right, we got right into it. Oh, and uh, thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. I believe this is the same guy that sold me my lava theme deck box. Um. I believe this is the person that sold me that box. Um, I ended up working out a deal with them after I bought their uh, lava box and got my hands on this turmoil box. Now, um, they know that I have a YouTube channel. Um, they may be even subscribed by now. I know the first time around they didn't include anything extra. Maybe they didn't include anything this time around either, but I'm hoping they did. Because honestly, I still feel like whenever I'm buying empty boxes of anything, even if it's vintage, it's kind of a waste of money when you can get an actual product. Um, but I know that even if I don't have the deck, the, the cards that are in this deck are very cheap, but these decks themselves are usually three to $400. Um, I found one like two years ago for like $85, but it wasn't in the best condition. Um, okay, I'll bring down my voice. So Aspen's asleep right now. It's like, it's like midnight right now. Um, it should be more quiet. Um, hopefully there's something extra, but if there isn't anything extra, like whatever, it's not a big deal. That kitty, that kitten is always in here. I'm struggling guys. <sighs> Look at this, and it looks so much better in the display case. Uh, that's kind of why I bought this. I bought this for $50, I believe. Uh, the reason that I paid 50 was because I know that these display cases are from Graded Power. Um, so they're, I think, $17 on eBay right now. 
I used to buy them from them like two years ago. I was buying them for like 11 or $12 a piece uh, and I buy boxes of them. Um, so these are definitely the best and graded power is amazing. If you, if you want some display magnetic uh, boxes for your old uh, Pokemon theme decks, uh, graded power is the way to go for sure. So we've got this beautiful deck. Um, I've actually got a decent amount of cards that I could build this deck out with. Uh, the main cards would be the Dark Raichu non-hollow and the Dark Blastoise non-hollow. Um, and of course, including a random reverse, um, which isn't hard to get if you're just buying singles. But anyways, guys, very easy to build out. So I figured, what the heck? The hardest part is getting a box that's in really good condition. This box is in really good condition. There's no surface creases. It's definitely in better shape, I think, than the lava box um, and it was less. Now it's a less sought after deck so there's a reason for that. Uh, but technically since I paid 50 and I got a display case as well that's worth 17 or 15 at the very least, I feel that I paid about $35 for this deck box and then I got the display case for free. And this display case I'm actually going to use, yeah there's nothing in here guys. Uh, no big deal either way, appreciate you sending this out. Uh, Dan and I love it. Um, we've got ourselves another free display case, which is awesome. Uh, that brings our cost here to pretty much 35 bucks. Um, just to give you guys a close up, this thing looks really good. I'll put that in the external lighting. There we go. It looks really nice, guys. It's a really nice box for sure. I mean, like it's crazy. I feel like these deck boxes one day are going to be like thousand dollar five hundred dollar boxes i just think they're super iconic they're really really nice that's just my opinion i'm a huge fan of raichu i'm actually so stoked that these are trending lower than the lava decks because i'll probably buy a sealed turmoil deck way before i buy a lava deck one it's cheaper right now it's about a thousand dollars to get a sealed turmoil deck and it's about three thousand to two thousand if you can get it in bidding to get a sealed lava deck um, so for me, I love this card. So that's just a great value. And you're still getting that reverse hollow. So you're still getting a really good chance to get something good in there. And that's a guarantee on that reverse hollow. Uh, anyways, guys, beautiful right here. And, uh, let's get into what we have next. Okay. Uh, Tyler, thank you. We got no eBay business name on there. Oh my God, this guy is a huge seller on eBay, huge. Um, so most of these are actually Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, oh, we got some Pokemon in there too. But uh, I believe it's Neo Moon. Uh, I'll have to leave some really good feedback. They sell a lot of cards, I mean a lot. Like I would love to get at that level someday. Um, I don't even have 100 sales yet on Mercari. Uh, but I would love to get to that level someday. And I think a big part of that is just being able to every day get up, ship stuff out. So people get very lazy and I'm sure they get burnt out when they're shipping out cards all the time. But this guy is just next level. He's just on top of it. Like thousands of feedback. I'm sure he ships out 20 to 100 cards a day. Anyways, <clears throat> Neo Moon. Um... And uh, maybe they're scribe, maybe they're not, but uh, I'll, I'll be sure to leave some good feedback. Uh, we got our cards in a team bag. I'll reuse that stuff. All right, all right, all right. So we got a couple things here. First things first, um, we'll go over the Pokemon. So we got a dark sand slash right here. Really, really nice. Reverse hollow dark sand slash. All right, so first things first, we're looking at the... the um, the condition, <clears throat> a lot of these that I bought, I was only buying them if they were lightly played. And um, honestly, it's not surprising that he ships out a lot of stuff when, you know, once you get that credibility and they see that you have all this feedback and, and people purchasing your stuff, uh, it gets easier to unload that stuff. Uh, do I think this is an amazing, do I think this is an LP card? Uh, not really. I think it's more on the, on the, on the side of moderately played. Um, it's a nice card. There's not a lot of edge wear on the back, but I don't think that we're going to catch this in the, uh, in the camera. Oh yeah, we are. 
You see that silvering up top? There's some silvering, there's some dirt up top. Maybe I'm being anal. I guess it is an LP card, but I don't have Dark Sand Slash in my Rocket Returns um, uh, stack of cards, so I ended up picking up one of those. I am actively negotiating a Rocket Returns booster box right now, but uh, let's get into the next card. Oh, looks like this is the only card here, but then this one has two cards in here. And they're both Lugias. Okay, so this one is the um, Unseen Forces uh, Lugia. Looks like it has some kind of dirt or something. I'll have to clean it. Uh, and this one's LP. Looks LP. No surprises there. Same with this one. Uh, wow, these are both absolutely incredible. So you've got Unseen Forces. This artwork is absolutely beautiful it's beautiful and i know that it comes in a theme deck as a non-holo but this is beautiful as a card in a holo gotta love lugia it is a sick card it's in a psychic in this case it's just beautiful uh that's gonna go in my um i don't have it is it behind me yes right here right here we got unseen forces right here so this would belong in that booster box um and then another Another um, kind of these mini sets, these promo cards, I just think that these, uh, okay, well, I'm not going to pull that sticker off. They just, they use, they're, they're using sleeves with red, red dots on them. But, um, all right, so we have our Unseen Forces uh, Lugia, really, really a nice card. The hollow looks really good on this card. I wish I could show some of that hollow pattern a little bit more. There we go. We're getting a little bit of that in there. Really, really nice card. Stoked to be adding that to the set. And then there's this um, this this Pop Series Five. So I haven't I haven't invested in any of these Pop Series cards, but I saw this one and I picked it up immediately. Did not even think twice. Guys, this is a beautiful Lugia beautiful it's so cool to just be in this hobby and every day i'm seeing a new card that i've never seen before um i'm interested in new stuff oh wow and a cosmo hollow on this card is insanely good so pop series 5 lugia guys this thing is sick i'm gonna put this in a fresh sleeve since this one has some kind of sticker on it kind of sticker thing That is really, really nice. Okay, oh, that's, I don't like the tight sleeves. I'm sorry, guys, I know this is mid-video, but I don't like the tight sleeves. That's why I love these winter sleeves so much, because I like that they give the card room to breathe. I like that they give the card room to breathe. I like that. Let's see, does it still show the hollow? Yeah, that hollow is just freaking fantastic. Man, that is cool. Okay, moving forward, uh, we've got two cards sandwiched in here. We've got a BPT-11, and we've got a Legacy uh, or Legend of Darkness. Um, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. We're getting into Yu-Gi-Oh now. I told you guys that I was going to be building a position as far as Yu-Gi-Oh went. We've got some old sleeves going on here. We've got some old sleeves going on here. This is really, really fantastic. Um, these are in fantastic condition. This is definitely lightly played condition. Guys, I am loving this. I am loving this. Wait. Oh, man. This is great. Okay, so these sleeves are long overdue for change. But let's just show you guys this beautiful Jinzo. Guys, this is why I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! has a lot of room to run. This is really, really a nice card. This is really a nice card. This Jinzo is just so phenomenal. I love this card so much. So you would get this in the tins. So I guess BPT 11, that would be maybe that. So that was the second generation, the second run. It was the second run of tins. I think there were six tins at a time. Uh, I really like this Jinzo. I can't say it enough, but... When I was thinking about getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh, um, not originally, but this past week when I was thinking about like building my 
uh, my position in Yu-Gi-Oh cards, uh, this is the one that did it. I looked at these Jinzos and I looked at the price and I was like, this is such a nice, beautiful card um, to just not be budging much in price and to be in the like, you know, five, 10, $15 range. And so he, uh, Neo Moon, uh, had a couple of these in LP condition and I offered for two of them and, um, they counter offered. And by the time I was going to counter offer, there was only one left. So I realized, wow, this guy is moving or girl, whatever. They're moving, um, a lot of product very quickly. I don't know why I'm holding it so far away. It's such a nice card. I love this Jinzo. Um, you know, it takes me back to Battle City when Joey beats Weevil um, in that second season and he wins his Jinzo. And, you know, it's kind of like Rex Raptor and the Red Eyes Black Dragon all over again. I mean, he wins the Jinzo, but the Jinzo is never really a Joey card, but it kind of becomes a Joey, you know, staple. Uh, we got a fresh sleeve in there. We're gonna put this in a fresh top loader. So now these Ultra Pro top loaders also have a nice little top loader box. So you can keep them handy and ready for every time that you get a new card that needs sleeving. This Jinzo is definitely going into my personal collection. Like I just feel so proud to have a card like this in my Yugi collection, my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. It's really, really cool. Um, and then I still had these on the table, but recently, and I still have to re-sleeve them and, and put them in fresh, not not uh, scuffed up top loaders. But um, these pieces of Exodia, you know, definitely, definitely makes me feel like I've already got a really good starting position. And Neo Moon had a lot of really good uh, conditioned tin cards. So it was, it was just like, oh crap, I want this one, I want this one, I want this one. And so I got a little bit of everything, um, but they're really good condition cards. And I feel like right now is a good time to buy before the market gets really crazy. So this uh, Legend of Darkness, I think it's Legend of Darkness. I don't, I don't think it's Legacy of Darkness. I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't know these sets like I used to, and I don't know them better than I know the Pokemon sets. I've spent an extensive amount of research and time into Pokemon as a collectible hobby and an investment, a real investment. Um, and I'm kind of seeing Yu-Gi-Oh! now is um, an underrated investment. I'm kind of seeing it like stocks, you know, right when COVID hit, all the stocks went down. I'm like, damn, these Yu-Gi-Oh! cards are kind of cheap for how nice they are. You know, it's different for me. I'm very nostalgic, but nonetheless, you know, I know a good Yu-Gi-Oh! card when I see it, and these are tight. Now... I guess you could say this is LP, but you know, they, there's no specification. You get what you get. Um, and that kind of sucks. You know, I will definitely, I wanted to just get some really good cards under my belt and just right off the bat. I mean, this injection fairy Lily and this Jinzo are a great way to add some really cool cards to your collection for a really nice budget price. Um, oh, dropping that injection fairy Lily. But I figure I won't be shopping from big, you know, sellers like that here on out. I'll be looking and bidding on stuff. And these are kind of, these cards are all, all these first cards that I'll be buying, you know, more recently with Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, these cards are going to be a benchmark, so to speak. They're going to, you know, give me an idea of what I'm going to spend on these cards for these conditions. Um, and kind of to shoot below um, what I would spend on any of these cards. And what I'm seeing is that most of the bidding does come close to these buy it now options. Um, but then again, you're seeing specific photos of a specific card. Um, and usually if the seller is, you know, one man team, you know, one person that doesn't have a whole lot of sales or credibility, um, it, you know, it's sometimes they have to be a little more transparent to sell their cards. Um, I don't know. I just feel like when you have like stock photos of cards, you know, it's really hard to judge whether that's a good purchase or not. But moving on. Yeah, we had our Jinzo Injection Fairy Lily. And I'm not sure. I'm definitely putting these in new sleeves and a new top loader because I don't want colored sleeves for these cards. But we've got a really nice tin. Dark Magician, beautiful, BPT-07. 
Really, really a nice, another nice addition. I just feel like these secret rares are a no-brainer. And then we've got this IOC, which I'm forgetting what this set is, but I know IOC is a really good set, and this is a great card to get out of that set. We've got this beautiful um, Dark Magician of Chaos. This is a fantastic card. It shines up really nicely here. Let's get these in some new sleeves. Ah, okay. Man, and I'm really looking for creases on this card, especially because this is a card that I really like and I want it to be as clean as possible. Um, I don't know how many packs. Yeah, so there's a tiny, tiny indentation at the top. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, I think it was 20 bucks, and I didn't send an offer or anything like that. I think I just bought it straight up. It's got some wear on the back, um, and it's got a teeny, teeny, tiny little crease up here. The camera might be able to catch it, might not. You guys can probably kind of see that there's just a little bit of a bend up in that corner, but either way, it's highly unnoticeable. Uh, really a nice condition card nonetheless, and a great addition, I think, to my collection overall. All right, we got some, we got some, we got some bangers. We got some bangers over here so far. Get this Dark Magician. Let's get this in a clear sleeve. Let's see if there's, out of the sleeve, let's see if there's any imperfections. Every time you move a card from sleeve to sleeve, you're definitely doing a little bit of damage though, that's for sure. All right, so putting the light on it, I see nothing. I see nothing. In fact, I see a little bit of a hollow bleed too. Um, this card is phenomenal, man. Wow, guys, that is a that is a nice dark magician for sure. I think, you know, one of the purposes of this video, this is a Pokemon mystery mail day, and it's ended up. There's more stuff in here. Obviously, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, um, but Pokemon is the platform that I started with for YouTube, and I did I did show a very old video that's like my Yu-Gi-Oh collection you know, what I had unearthed in my parents' attic. Uh, so that was pretty cool because there were some valuable cards, but everything was in crusty old sleeves and old top loaders, and I really didn't take care of them like I should have. And so everything I've learned about Pokemon, all of my OCD, everything that's made me um, so so particular of a collector, I'm trying to bring that now to Yu-Gi-Oh! and show that Yu-Gi-Oh! can be a really powerful, strong investment We've got our Jinzo here, and the BPT, or the tins, so to speak, are a really good place to start. Literally, any secret rare, any prismatic secret rare in Yu-Gi-Oh that's vintage and older, I think it's a really good place to park some money. Um, I just think you can't lose. I know there's a lot of hype with the newer cards that are out. You've got these, uh, what are they, the Starlight rares, which is really really funny. I don't know if it's a Starlight or Stardust or whatever, but it's funny because we opened up a bar called Starlight this year, and I just think it's really weird that like one of the best sets that's come out has Starlight cards. Um, okay, and then last but not least, we've got our Dark Magician here. So we've got all those freshly sleeved, and uh, I'll get these uh, these Lugia cards sleeved up as well. Really nice, again, let's, beautiful hollow. Beautiful hollow on this guy, but it's not showing as easily. And then we've got our dark sand slash, which I think would be the, would be probably one of the worst ones in terms of the, the wear and tear on it. But overall, these were such good buy it now prices. And, uh, oh, I got a heart from Cool Trainer Ryan. That's actually pretty fucking dope. But then again, Everybody has to like like and respond to videos and comments and shit. Um, but that's definitely one of my favorite bigger YouTubers. Cool Trainer Ryan, if you see this, you definitely inspired me in a lot of ways to be a little bit more organic. Like you get used to seeing all these bigger YouTubers that are like, guys, today we have, you know, and then the thumbnails that are like, and they've got like, you know, you know, it, I get it. You've got to hype this stuff up, but at the same time, it's not realistic. And, um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of funny. So if people want to have 
you know, thumbnails where they, they have the mouth open, like, ah, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of funny to see those. And maybe they even think it's kind of funny too. So anyways, guys, peace out. This was a successful Pokemon Mystery Mail Day, number 58. You guys have a great night and we still have something special. We've got another YouTube video coming for you. And we've got our first ever opening of Lost Origin. And on top of that, the first ever opening we've done on TikTok with this pack right here. Um, anyways, guys, stay tuned. I know I've been making a ton of videos, but sometimes I have more time in the week and sometimes I have no time at all. And I just want to maximize as much as I can get done. Um, and also, I love doing it. Uh, anyways, guys, peace out. Have a great night.